Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to take you on a journey to visit one of my favorite places, Zion National Park. Um, I wasn't even going to film a video intro because I've been working to find, you know, a way to talk less, show you more. Um, but I just wanted you to see the pure, like, joy that Zion National Park brings to me. Um, this is my second time. My first time was like a couple years ago with one of my best friends on a road trip. And when I was planning this cross country road trip with my husband, I just knew I had to go back and show him. And I didn't get to spend much time the first time in Zion. And Quite frankly, I kind of gypped myself and didn't give us enough time in Zion this time. I I would highly, highly, highly recommend you um, give yourself at least a couple days in Zion National Park if you are going to add it to any trip because there's just so much to see. You know, there's a part you can drive through with your car and there's a part that only a bus can go through. Anyway, hopefully you've been following along on this road trip series on my channel. Um, there's so many beautiful places in the United States with these national parks that I never would have dreamed would just fill me with such peace and joy just by their sheer beauty. Um, and I never thought I'd find myself hiking. Like, look at my nails, look at my hair. Do I look like the kind of girl that's a hiker? No. Mm -hmm. I've never thought I would be like, so excited that my husband agreed to go on a cross country road trip where like the majority of what I wanted to do was hike. So yeah, part of what I wanted to do when I started this channel was share those type of things with you. I wanted to share my love of travel and the things I never dreamed possible and the things that I never would have thought I would like to do out there in the world and how travel has pushed me outside my comfort zone so much um, in the past couple years and really helped me grow as a person both mentally and emotionally and spiritually and I just want to share that with the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video. Um, subscribe to my, I'm getting ready. I'm acting like there's a button down there. Subscribe to my channel, the button down below, you know where it is. Um, and make sure you follow along for the rest of this series because there's a really special one coming up. Um, where, you know, there might be some um, ghosts and whatnot. Where? Is there a path or are they just... You can make a little one. This is footage after we just had a two hour drive from Page, Arizona. You can go check out all of that in the previous vlogs of the road trip series. And we have to drive through the park to get to our hotel. But first we have a little adventure plan, especially for my husband. To see ancient drawings. So we're hiking. Rather. That's so easy. It said it was easy, but it was a lie. Do you see the path yet? What? So here's a little story time about this godforsaken hike where we got lost. So my husband is really into ancient aliens. So I had found online a hike that was supposed to be less than a quarter of a mile and just merely what seemed like down a bank to see some cave drawings. So I thought, oh, on our way in, we can just stop real quick, see it for him. I really want this for him. He's done so much for me on this trip. If it was up to him, though, he likes to just get to the hotel first before we do anything. 
But I'm like, oh, it'll be easy. Mind you, I'm in flip-flops and an itty-bitty dress that's comfy for traveling, not hiking gear. We did not bring any water. Well, you know, so we put the coordinates in the map, get to the nearest parking area, and get out and start. And we think we're just going to follow. Well, we have no service, nothing. Um, the coordinates aren't working any further than that on the phone. We can't get back to the page because there's no internet. So I'm just like remembering from my head. We know we're in the vicinity and we get lost. I have to climb up with my fancy camera in an itty bitty dress and flip flops up and down and around. And I don't think we're ever going to make it out. We have no water. It is like 98 degrees. It was terrible. So moral of the story is um, make sure you like screenshot everything when you find something like that. If I had screenshotted it, my husband might have been able to look at it and be like, oh, I think we went wrong here or there. I'm just going off like a few little blurbs here in my head. And I thought it was going to be like, bam, we're there. So that was a little, little rough start to the Zion trip. So it was exhausting. Um, I almost died. I had to climb down and up some areas that it wasn't really safe in flip-flops. But I just kept trekking on instead of turning around because I really wanted us to find it. We didn't. So, yeah, my husband was none too excited, as you can tell from that last picture. So this is the view from our hotel in Zion. That's her little sitting patio where I'm going to get some photos downloaded finally. I mean, look. So as you can see, our hotel had a fabulous view. Our hotel was in Springdale, which I wish I had got more footage of. It's so cute, and they have a great bus system to get you to and from the park. So then we headed to the park, and I took my husband down to this little river by the campgrounds that I really wanted him to see before we went and got on the bus. And how cute is that doe and that buck? Anyway, so we came in through Zion earlier in the day. Um the route that you can drive through with your car. But when we went back later in the afternoon, we went on the bus. And the first time I went to Zion, I didn't get to go on the bus route. And the bus route takes you to parts of Zion you're not allowed to drive through, um, including some of uh, the most famous areas for hikes. It takes you to Angel's Landing, which is a really, really hard hike, which we weren't about to do while we were there. Um, the Emerald Pools Trail, which I would have liked to go on if we had had more time. And the Narrows, which is a really, really famous hike at the very end of the bus system, at the very top. You have to walk like through water, and it can be very dangerous. It wasn't open when we were there yet, because there was still like very, very deep water from the winter. But yeah, it was pretty awesome views from the bus. Zion is definitely a park I would recommend at least having a couple days to go through. I didn't do that either time, and I really wish that I had. Um, it is a little bit more pricey to stay in the town um, near Zion. So you want to make sure you're booking as far ahead as you can because A, it's more of a fancy town than most of the towns right near national parks, but it's super cute. There's lots of little neat shops and restaurants, and Zion is totally um, worth budgeting for a couple days if you can manage it. Because you can just spend days exploring this place and still not have seen every beautiful nook and cranny. There's hikes of all levels, and the bus system is so amazing. I'll be honest, I don't typically like bus systems in parks or places where I travel all the time because I like to kind of be in control, go at my own pace, not have to wait around. 
but you never had to wait for buses. They were constantly going. You might have just got dropped off by one and then another would be there to pick you up. And not only that, but like the area we drove in on our way in, I also haven't got to explore as much as I'd like to. And I've driven through it twice. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. 